Hi there, my name is Gaurav and I work as a solution specialist here at Avid. Welcome to this demonstration of Pro Tools Carbon with HHB. So what is Carbon? Carbon combines Avid's analog and digital expertise into a single product that is focused on music production and recording. So if you're an artist, a band, an engineer or a producer, Carbon will allow you to do all of your productions in one place to its highest standard. A key feature which we will come back to in the demo is the combination of the native processing from the CPU mixed with our DSP hardware acceleration for low latency monitoring. So when you're recording you can use the onboard HDX DSP chips in Carbon. We call this our hybrid engine. Today I'm going to be taking you through the features of Carbon and how easy it is to set up and begin recording using the hybrid engine. Carbon is a 1U piece of hardware and connection wise you have analog outputs, analog inputs, ADAT optical, foot switch input, world clock, talkback and AVB connectivity allowing you to connect to your Mac. I will also be touching on some of these in more detail throughout the demo. Coming to the back of Carbon we have 8 transparent mic preamps, 8 line inputs, 2 instrument inputs on the front panel of the unit and the ability to expand your inputs with ADAT connectivity which I'll be touching on throughout the demo. Preamps 5 to 8 have a variable Z function which allows you to tailor the response of the preamp for the mic which you might be using. For example, allowing you to alter the tone of any microphone or instrument. That could be from dynamic microphones, ribbon mics or guitars and bass. You have 16 channels of ADAT IO at 48k. This allows you to track a band or multiple microphone recordings. There is a number of ADAP mic pre's available on the market and this allows you to easily expand Carbon. Connecting Carbon to the host computer is really easy. We are using an audio over Ethernet protocol called AVB and this connects directly to your Mac Ethernet port. If you have a laptop which has Thunderbolt connectivity only, you can buy an adapter which allows you to connect Carbon to your laptop. Once you are connected, Pro Tools Carbon will now begin showing in your Pro Tools playback engine. The AVB protocol is built into the Mac OS so Carbon functions as a core audio device, giving you lots of flexibility and allowing Carbon to be used as the audio interface for any door. As Windows does not have built-in AVB capability, then Carbon is Mac only right now. Avid has been using AVB as a connection protocol for many years in the live sound products. AVB's bandwidth reservation and quality of service gives you a guaranteed level of performance and the Ethernet based protocol gives us flexibility for future development. For monitoring on Carbon, you can connect up to three pairs of stereo speakers and there are also four headphone outputs on the front panel of Carbon. I can then go into Pro Tools and create individual cue mixes for the artists or band members depending on what they would like to hear in the mix. You also have a talkback function on the front panel of Carbon, which is also assignable to a foot switch. Let's take a deeper look at the integration of Pro Tools and Carbon and what the hybrid engine is all about. So what makes Carbon special? It's DSP mode. There is a small icon located by the record button and pressing this will enable DSP mode. Enabling DSP mode puts the track onto the DSP mixer on Carbon, running in parallel with the native mixer. This then gives you sub 1 millisecond low latency monitoring for the recording path, but it leaves rest of the mix able to make use of the power from the CPU. This hybrid engine workflow is what makes Carbon unique, and you're able to do this all without leaving the Pro Tools app. And when you're ready to mix, you can put any DSP mode tracks back into native mode and open that session on any Pro Tools system, whether that could be native or it could be HDX. I would like to show you an example of DSP mode in practice. So if I come over here to my guitar tracks in my session and take a look at the Electric Guitar 01, there are plugins on there such as the BX Rock Rack, Muck DSP 6050 Channel Strip and the Green JRC Overdrive. If I just click the DSP mode icon, this track is now on the DSP mixer on Carbon. 
and all of the plugins on the track are now switched to DSP plugins. And if there is no DSP equivalent, then the plugins are just bypassed. And in order to preserve the low latency path, all downstream tracks are also put into DSP mode. If you take a look at this animation, you can see how the tracks are moved from the native mixer on the CPU to the parallel DSP mixer on Carbon. So let's take a look at how we would use Carbon for recording in this Pro Tools session. I already have a fair number of tracks using lots of my native CPU power. I want to show you how I would go about doing an overdub. If you have a very busy session with lots of virtual instruments and plugins, and you needed to record an artist as they may have a new idea as you're building the track, then you would have significant monitoring latency if you were using a standard core audio interface. But with Carbon, turning on DSP mode will offload the recording chain onto the DSP, enabling you to able to record onto a busy section with a low latency monitoring path. In my session, I've added an audio track. And if I come over to the input, I can now select microphone one, which is the microphone going into Carbon. And now you can see that this signal on the meters. I need to make sure that this track is in DSP mode to get the benefits of the low latency monitoring. To adjust the microphone input gain, you can click down the knob which is located on the front panel of Carbon. And if you wanted to cycle through your inputs, you can click once to go to the next input or hold down the encoder and dial left or right. If I wanted to switch between the mic or line, I can then select the input switch and I'm now able to control the gain for my line inputs. And if I wanted to plug in a guitar or a bass into instrument one or instrument two, Carbon would detect this and allow me to control the gain of my instrument once the instrument is plugged in. I'll also now set up the output to my speakers and set up the QSEND for my headphones. Hardware setup is where I can change settings for Carbon. This could include my monitor section where I can select which headphones will monitor the entire mix and which are available for headphone cue mixes. As well as this, I also have the option to control my talkback and my dim amount too. So, to begin my process of setting up headphone cue mixes, I can just head over to the hardware setup window and make sure that my headphones 2 is not monitoring the whole mix as I'm looking to use headphone 2 as a cue mix for individual instruments. To set up the headphone mix, I can now head over to my stem synth bus. I can also load my headphone 2 as a send and I can also copy and paste headphone 2 to all the tracks which the artist may want to hear. Now my cue mix is set up. I can also save this as a track preset and bring this into any session via the workspace later on. I will now also create a master fader stereo track and assign this track to headphone 2. And the reason that I would create a master fader track is to be able to control the overall volume for all of the headphone 2 sends which I've added for the artist or band member tracking through their headphone 2. I can now use this fader to lower the gain or increase the gain depending on what they would like. As I will be recording I want to make sure that I can add some reverb for tracking so I'm going to add a monitor reverb to my audio track. As reverb does not need to be on the low latency path then I can enable DSP mode safe and that way I can use any native reverb. First I would create a reverb send just as usual. Now the track itself is automatically in DSP mode as it's a send from the audio track which was already in DSP mode. I know this as only my DSP reverbs are showing. As you know, I would like to insert a native reverb, so to do this, I can just simply hold and click command and select the small DSP icon, and now the track is in DSP mode safe. I can now select my native reverb, such as the Arturia Revplate 140, which comes bundled with Carbon. And I'm now ready to start recording. When I'm recording, the mix is running on the native mixer on the CPU, but the record tracks are on the DSP mixer on Carbon so I get all of the power of the native CPU running with a high buffer setting and sub 1 millisecond monitoring latency on the tracks that are on the DSP mode. This is what we call the hybrid engine. Mic testing 1, 2, 3. This is a test on how to use Carbon with Pro Tools. Once I've finished recording, I can just put the tracks back into native mode and this session can now be opened on any other Pro Tools system regardless of their hardware. When you buy Carbon, it comes with Pro Tools software subscription, which includes the Avid Complete bundle, and this gives you tons of DSP plugins. As well as this, you have the Heat plugin for analog emulations in the Pro Tools mixer. 
Carbon also comes with a suite of third-party plugins. From Plugin Alliance, you have the Brainworks BX Console N, Rock Rack, Master Desk, and Purple Audio MC77. As well as this, you have the Muck DSP 6050 channel strip. These are all DSP plugins and are ideal for tracking in DSP mode. Finally, there is a plate reverb from Arturia and instruments from UVI and Native Instruments. Well, I hope this has given you a good overview of what Carbon is all about. And if you need any more information, then please just get in touch with HHB. Thank you very much.